What is going on everybody, my name is Kermit 3 and welcome back to another video. Now today's video guys, we are on the Machina. What I got for you this time is an insane, no target god mode. You guys can do after all patches, only can be done as a team, not a solo. So the first thing you guys need to do is go into a game with healing all on and you're going to need to get yourself into pro mode. To do that, what you need to do is get down to buy a couple of zombies. Once you get down, you want to wait about 2 or 3 seconds, kill a zombie, then get self-revived. From there, if you go prone again, the zombies won't be able to touch you and you'll be in something called pro mode. Now from there, get yourself stem shots. You're going to need a minimal of 3 of them. Also get yourself quick revive and also get yourself drug. You can get yourself stamina up as well if you guys like, but I like to get stamina up just to help you out. Now from there, once you've got all your perks, you've got your stem shots, you've got your healing aura reddered, you've got 5,000 points, you can keep two zombies at the end of a round, make sure that the tunnels are closed, come to this crash site area here, go prone to the left side of this circle, and what should happen is once the zombies come close to you, you should be able to stand up, go back into prone, and you'll go underneath the map. Now once under here, all you need to do is follow the direction I'm taking, come past the ammo box, you can see there's a tree there, just aim towards where those sandbags are and just move forward really quickly. From here you just want to climb up, turn to the right and what you're going to do is you're going to get ready to climb over this barrier. So what you're going to do is going to climb over the barrier and you're going to move around the barrier, you're going to have to be quick because there are death barriers as you can see, so you go quick and then all you need to do is climb up here. So once you mantle up here, activate your healing aura at this point. Go back a little bit, run forward, and you should be able to do like a little strafe to mantle up into the hole. Run as quick as you can down to here, open up this barrier here, and then as soon as you open up this barrier while activating some of your stem shots, you should be fine from the death barriers at this point. Open up the next door, open up the power door. Once you turn on the power, this barrier will open, and all your friends that are in the map will be able to then come down the area over to the one zombie spawn area so this is how you guys get the one zombie spawn now you're probably wondering how do you get into god mode okay so once you've got the one zombie spawn sorted all you need to do then is have the friends that are in the game not the host this can't be done with the host unfortunately you want your friends to back out leave the game make sure that you keep one zombie at the end of a round before they leave you don't want to make your way into this room as you can see in the top right corner you're going to wait for your friends to fully leave and then rejoin back. So once they join back, they should be on the loading screen. Now what you guys need to do, if you're the host that's in the game, needs to train that last zombie. Now if the zombie dies out, you just want to bring him back to this area by going into that room where the medical bay is, quick load, coming back out and then they should pile up there. Now once your friends have got crater class come on screen and are connected, that's when you want to stand to the left side of this barrier here, right where I am, and shoot that last zombie. So it's important that you stand to the left side of where that door frame is leading into the medical bay. Now, they will have crater class on screen. Once they are spectating the host of the game, they can then go up and choose their class. As soon as they are spectating, they'll choose their class, and as soon as the guy, uh, the host in the game, is finish that round they will then come into the game just make sure that when you come into the game you're going to be in the area where the death barriers are so you want to run quick into this area as you can see now another way to tell if you've done it correctly is when your friends hit six death barriers while they're coming into the game from here what also makes this is great is because you can actually switch weapons without have to wait to end the next round so you know when you used to be able to just like uh pick a different class and then it would say the class would uh be enabled once you die out to come back well with this glitch you can switch your weapons without needing to do any of that the only thing is what's bad about this glitch um is that the host he can never get into no target god mode but every other teammate in the game can uh, which is brilliant. So it is back, guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Just to confirm, guys, like I said, this is no target god mode. You can still die from grenades. You can still die from the gas, from the hounds, and the orb gas from the megaton. So just keep that in mind. But if you guys do die, and you come back the next round, you'll still be in no target god mode. 
You also can activate the coughing dance and you're still being god mode. You can go for the anomaly and you're still being god mode. You can pick up the coughing box and you're still being god mode. You can literally do the Easter egg with this and you're still being god mode. It doesn't seem to be anything to cancel it out, which is brilliant. So, like I said, if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you on that. Big shout out to the founders, said seal glitches. Unique Gaming Productions and myself, Channelman H3. Go check all links of the founders in the description. And I hope you guys enjoy this one. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.